Johnny Highland here in Camp Highland Studio to bring a video on the new Cast Engineering Casper Delay. Looking at the Casper Delay, folks, you'll see that it is a beautiful white pedal and look at those bright blue beautiful knobs. No LED required for this little bad boy. Now, folks, the thing that makes the Casper so unique is that, yes, it's like an analog delay pedal in a digital format, um, which enables the pedal to be a smaller size and great for real estate on your pedal board. So if we look at the knobs, the first one here is delay. The other one on the top is repeats. And then, of course, this is your overall level, which is great when you're on stage and you need to reach down and just get a little bit more or less of your delay. So uh, I really like how they place the knobs. Uh, and of course that beautiful bright blue helps a blind guy when you're on a dark stage. I just love the way this pedal is designed. So just to give you some insight and some information on this little bad boy, there is about 700 milliseconds of delay in this little pedal. And the way that they set it when it first comes to you, it has this uh, really, really cool... Feedback. <laughs> That's really kind of neat. I'm going to turn that all the way back and turn try to turn my amp back on here. All right. So I have the delay kind of set right now for like a rockabilly thing. Just one slap. And that's what you get all the way back on the repeat knob. But if you turn it up, and I'm actually going to loosen the delay a little bit for you so you can hear it better has a nice analog sound to it and it gets a little bit brisk and slappy when it comes back to you. But now if we keep turning this repeats knob up, check this out. It's getting bigger. That is some awesome repeats guys, check that out. Gives you like a really cool oscillation. Uh, and my goodness, guys, let's just do this while we're here. Let's turn the delay time itself. That's a good lengthy delay right there. Let's add some repeats to it. A really nice vintage sounding analog style delay. And, uh, of course, this ha actually is just your level to how much of it you want. So let's bring that up a little bit and hear that. As you can truly hear, folks, this little paddle is amazing, and it gives you that true analog sound. What I'd like to do now, though, is show you how I like to run the Casper Delay in my little flyboard setup that you see here. Well, folks, what I've done is turned my compression pedal on, and uh, this would be set up exactly if I was going to go play a Johnny Highland gig. But one of the first features I want to show you is how you can do a really cool analog delay kind of Albert Lee kind of uh, chicken picking sound. Check this out. <laughs> Essentially, I've uh, actually used that kind of sound in a studio session before when we needed a little pad underneath. And as you can see, to get that sound, what I'm doing is the delay is actually at noon, the repeats is at noon, and of course, I just uh, crank the uh, level all the way so that I could have the most amount of delay coming through. So now, let's go ahead and get our true rockabilly sound. So I'm going to 
to turn the repeats all the way off. And let's bring the... Check that out, man. That's cool. Actually, that brings, to, that brings me to a very interesting point. If you crank the level all the way, as you can hear, it kind of overtakes your sound, which is really neat. That's actually kind of a neat effect. So let's bring it back. So here would be like a really cool rockabilly sound, and I'm going to bring the repeats up just a little bit. So now, folks, what that really did in that example was show you that the analog delay that's featured in the Casper can actually come way out in front of your sound, or you can pull it back to where it's almost uh, non-audible in a way. It's very, very well felt when you play the guitar, but the audience is definitely not hearing it unless you want it to be heard. I think that's one of the coolest features about the Casper delay, and I think Cast Engineering has done a fantastic job and making a vintage sounding analog delay be so doggone cool. You really don't find that in a lot of the older analog delays, so I think Cas uh, the Casper delay is just a winner all the way around. So now I'm going to go ahead and crank on the Texas Flood from Cast Engineering, and let's set a kind of rock and blues kind of delay with the Casper. <laughs> Johnny Highland uses the cast engineering Casper delay. This is absolutely a winner, guys. I love having cast engineering pedals on my little flyboard here. I truly love these pedals with all my heart. I think cast engineering is a wonderful company. And I want you guys to make sure you go to cast, C A S T engineering.com and pick yourself up a Casper delay today. And trust me, when you do, you'll put all of your old other analog delays in the closet. This one just rips them all. So, God bless you all out there. And uh, thanks to everyone, Ben, and all my friends at Cast Engineering. Love you guys a lot. Thanks so much for blessing my life with the Casper delay. So, uh, this is Johnny Highland signing off. Love you guys. Keep on picking. Be happy. And uh, rock on. See you next time.